Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad with a video tutorial on C programming. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna see the register storage class in C. So, I'm gonna explain, you know, how to use this register storage class, and uh, you know, where the variable with the register storage class will be stored. You know, what's gonna be the initial value, what's gonna be the scope of the variable. So now uh, we're gonna, you know, start writing our program. The register storage class is used to store the variables which, which are very frequently used in your program. For example, while looping, you need to use some variables repeatedly. So at that time, you can store that uh, variable in the register, it means CPU registers, so that the access time required to you know access that variable will be less and your program will be fast. Okay, now to use this register storage class, you need to use the keyword register first and then the variable. So here I'm gonna write register int x. So this variable x is gonna be stored in the CPU register. So the default value of this variable x, you know, which is of a register storage class, will be a garbage value and the scope is local to the block in which it is defined in the last tutorial you know i have explained about the blocks so here i'm gonna make a code block using the curly braces so you can see here this is a code block and uh, once we define this variable you know with the register story class inside a block code block you know that variable will be available only within that block so the next thing is you know what's going to be the life of that uh, variable with the register storage class this variable is going to exist till the control remains within this block so once the control comes out of this block you know this variable will not be existing and the next thing is you know the cpu registers are in the limited number so if you are uh, gonna you know create too many variables let's say 20 or 30 uh, variables with a register storage class let's say that uh, let's assume that there are only 10 registers available in the cpu then uh, the 10 variables will be stored in the cpu register and the remaining variables because the CPU registers are not available will be stored in the stack so always use the variables which are repeatedly used in your programs with the register storage class so here I'm gonna use a printf statement to you know uh, see what's gonna be the uh, default initial value so I'm gonna use percentage %d and I'm gonna refer the variable x so execute compile and run can see here some garbage value and also you know this variable is uh, local to the block where it is been defined so if I refer that variable outside the block you know it should produce the error so I can see here you know the act variable X is undeclared so this is it guys this is about the register storage class just remember that you know the variables with the register storage class will be stored in the CPU registers and uh, when we use the register storage class you know you know the access time required to access that variable will be less and your program will run faster and also it's a good practice to assign the variables which are repeatedly used with the you know register storage class so thank you guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page at facebook.com learninglad and i'll see you in the next tutorial